everyone, welcome to the next episode in my Road to Goodwood series and today I'm taking you guys well, to see what my morning routine is and how the heck I cram riding racehorses, doing my own horses, working everything into a day. I am though going to start by saying a huge thank you to Y Food for being the sponsors and supporters of this vlog in this series. Guys, without Y Food, I would not be surviving. I would be finding things very, very tough. However, I'm not going to go into that because you will see in the vlog why this is so crucial to what I'm doing and this whole journey that I've been on so far. Running a bit late um, because there was a dog related few little accidents this morning so it's ooh, 12 minutes past six and I need to get Harry ridden basically this morning um, before I go and then I need to leave at seven so first I'm gonna make up the feeds and the feed ring oh, hi Vaughn <laughs> okay so the feeds are made up but I'm gonna get Harry in first and then I can field Ember feed. Ember and Lara in the field. And so at the moment, field set up. Bonnie is in her little pen there. Oh, she's a bit fat. And then Lara, Ember, and Harry are all together. Which is quite harmonious, I have to say. Um, but it does mean that obviously I need to feed them very separately because Ember is definitely the boss. Um, right, hello. Harry's, he's done a runner. Done a runner. He's, to be fair, he's actually scared of Ember because Ember, you're a bully, aren't you? Yes. Hi, Laura Lee. Say hi to the vlog. You'll get your food in a minute. You'll get your food in a minute. Right. Time check. 26.24. Better get move on. <laughs> Just gonna go for a trot around the block with Harry, aren't we? Quick trot around the block and then get back, feed him, chuck him back out, boom, we're away. That boy has. So generally, I like to get at least one ridden before I go right out because it makes my life easier in the evening. <laughs> in the evening. Harry. Um, uh, so Harry's just had a 20 minute leg stretch round the block, obviously. Normally guys, I would ride for longer than that. Um, however, these past two weeks I'd say, whereby the race is what I'm focusing on. I don't have any eventing coming up super soon. So yeah, unfortunately. That is, that is that and that is the timings of it. But he's had a leg stretch, he's fine. And he's out in the day, so. Now it's time for your breakfast, isn't it? Yes, have a breakfast now. While Harry's eating his brekkie, I'm now going to top up Bond's water and give hay because <laughs> considering in the UK here, we've just had a heat wave. And when I say heat wave, I'm not even joking. Like it was hot, it got up to, 38 degrees here in Norfolk and in some parts of the UK I think it reached like 42 or 41 which is madness so yeah we've got very little edible grass now we need desperately need some rain but it doesn't look like it's coming anytime soon but I mean it's perfect for Bonnie because up until recently she's been out with Lara and uh She's put on a little bit of weight, so um, yeah, we're just gonna control that. Aren't we, Bon, hey? The huge, she's not terrible still. Bonnie, that's on, by the way. Not terrible, but you know, rather keep on top of it, won't we, hey? Hey, little girl, good girl. Lily's come to say hello to the world, haven't you? Hi. Oh. And she says, nope, I have not. Bye. The reason why I'm still walking around with my hat on is because if I put it down, guys, I will leave it here because I've done that probably three times since I've been riding out. Um, 
Honestly, I don't function in the morning. So I've got six minutes. Ooh, so Harry better hurry up and eat his food. He's had a little brush off um, just while he's finishing eating. And then I put his fly sheet on. It's really, literally, it's quite cold today, actually, in comparison. It's like 19, 20 degrees. Um, and then on top of his fly, fly sheet, I actually fly spray him as well <laughs> for extra protection because Harry is the biggest, just the biggest wuss with horsefly reactions. Actually, quite like myself, I've got a couple of big bites. Extra strength, fly guard. Oh my gosh, look how well that goes with my nails. If you're looking for fly spray recommendations, here we go. Good boy. Good boys. Right, bye gang. Bye bye. Bang on. So it's about 45 minutes to Newmarket on a good day from my yard. Um, and... Yeah, so I'm going to get driving, but I just quickly... This is Eve. So, um, got onto the yard, and the first thing I do is look on the board, and that is me, <laughs> this nameless person. And favourite one. Then. Yeah, and I'm riding Bailey Showtime today, who I love. So then I go into her and find my tag. Well, do you want to talk me through what we need for a racehorse tag? Come on. <laughs> you need a saddle. Yeah, a saddle. A bridle. Yeah. Rubbers. Yeah. And a chamois. These, they're called rubbers, mm -hmm. but they're, they're basically, yeah. it's like a towel. Yeah, to stop like diseases and stuff. Like, <laughs> well. Don't worry, disease. we're not all diseased here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, so I'm going to have to rush through this because actually I have to tack up now because uh, it's eight o'clock and oh! Amy, do you want to be on my vlog? Hello. Hello, everybody. This is the Amy Murphy, the Amy Hi, Murphy, guys. Um, the <laughs> wonderful trainer who has taken me under your wing. Trying. And, yeah, I know it's quite <laughs> difficult, and uh, yeah, I'm learning a lot. So today I'm doing a morning routine. Yep, so perfect. I'm just perfect. Showing everyone Hi, what we're doing, and I'm riding Bailey Showtime. Correct. Yeah. Who runs Saturday? Does he run Saturday? Yeah, he runs Saturday. Is that his second? His second run. Yeah, so he's just a baby. He's a baby, yeah, but he's having, very cute. Yeah. And he was actually, fun fact, the first horse that I rode here. here. Yeah. Oh no, the first one I rode here was Denali, actually. Oh yeah. That was really kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Second, yeah, second, yeah. first time I've worn Hill. First, yes, first yeah. horse. And I've actually got a photo and I'll put the photo here. Anyway, so I need to tack up because I'm late, so. You're my team. Okay, so I'm tacked up, um, which didn't take long, but now lovely Will is helping me groom. So basically, before they go out, they have to have their manes and tails shavings free so that they look really small. He's eaten my can already. I popped up there. I popped up there. He, he got is it. Naughty. He got he it in his mouth. You're so naughty. Light. I think he looks. I feel like he's looking at himself. Your strange is. little eyeballs. He fancies himself. Yeah. You're a good boy. You're going running? You're going to run on Saturday. That's exciting, isn't it? Um, right, okay, so I'm gonna put my body plate on and then Safety first. And then and then we're all good. But we're just get, we're just doing a chilled one today, aren't we? Yeah, because he galloped yesterday. Because he galloped yesterday. He did well. He did well, good boy. <laughs>
slot is done and then after we've ridden they have a full wash off and then they get turned out in their turnout pens. Now we're taking up for setting second lot. Will's riding, who's this? Hey Aku. That's her mum's name. Hey, oh, okay. So, she doesn't really have a name yet. X, hey, Okay, X, I can't say that. Rebecca, who are you riding? Soldier on Parade. Oh, Soldier on Parade. I've written that one. Or Kevin. Kevin, oh, it's Kevlar. Yeah, Kevin. We like Kevin. He's really He's nice. Look. He'd be a great rider. Hey, Kevin. Yeah, he would. This is a ROR prospect, guys. And then I'm riding this one. Oh, you stole that from I did steal Will's lot, but. She's really nice. She's cool, everyone you know. Slash Sophie yeah. is her stable name. And she's raring to go on the walker now, so let's go. So after the fourth third lot, um, the horses go on the walker. Just, I don't really know why that is. I guess it's maybe because they're later on in the morning and just to get them moving a bit. Um, so my horse is somewhere on here. And then the team gets to go for brekkie. Okay, so while those guys are having breakfast, this is a good time to introduce to you what has been keeping me surviving through this whole process. And that is why food. <laughs> Basically, Amy, I've got one for Amy. Right, so Amy here, come this side because the sun's this way, is going to do a taste test today. She's never tried this. I thrust this into her <laughs> hand and it actually remained unopened in the fridge for two days. So we're going to. I'm really this bad is, at doing what This the is thing. the test to see if you like it. I'm actually going to flip it round. Okay, so this is the, the strawberry lassie flavour. It's got 26 vitamins and minerals in it. Basically, tastes like a yogurt drink. It's 500 oh, calories. It's actually very good. Yes! yes that good. is. No, that it's is. like strawberry yogurt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Strawberry yogurt and it's. Can't believe it can be healthy. No, no, no. It is. Look, read the packet. Okay. Hang on. Look, it's got uh, all this stuff 26 fish and minerals, high in protein, fiber, lactose free, gluten free, no added sugar. Oh, it must be and a game changer. It fills you up so that you don't have to have breakfast, so you don't collapse. So that's what kept me going yesterday when I was galloping. Great. I literally just throw it in. Me <laughs> I nearly threw her off the other side. Oh my gosh. Wow. Bye. Last lot. Well, it's not the last lot, actually, is it? Yeah. It is the last lot. Yeah. Last lot. Last lot of the, of the day. day. Who's this, Leah? Oh, um, Beachley. Beachley. Not Bleachley. Not Bleachley. No. <laughs> it's because of her that. tail. Because it's got a really lovely tail, right? This is how you should give a lug up, guys. You ready? Ooh, there we go. <laughs> right, team, I have finished my morning. So I did two lots, um, which is what I've normally been doing whilst it, during this whole process. I think on a couple of occasions I've done three lots. Um, but yeah, two lots is generally what we do. And today I did one on the round counter and then one on the round counter and up the farm as well, which is like a six furlong it's a bit faster basically than the round counter so yeah now i've come to the racing center now to have a session with ian howell um on the equisizer i've got ian there to basically well i don't know i'll find out because i haven't done this before so i think probably better if one would have gone on the equisizer a bit before this but um anyway never too late too little too late better late than never <laughs> Better late than never. Not too little, too late. Jeez. Um, yeah, right. My thing's in three minutes, so I better get going.
a baptism of fire. Oh my gosh. I've just come back um, from my session with Ian Howell, the jockey coach at the racing center. And when uh, Connor at Amy's said, oh, just go and use the Equisizer. Like it's so totally fine. Obviously it's very beneficial because you know, my quads are absolutely on fire and in hindsight well and Ian said this to me as well I probably should have done it um, probably about a month ago but I didn't actually know that it was there to be honest so but I think the positives I can take from it were he said I've got a really strong core strong shoulders and I've got really good balance which is good he just said that my quads are probably the thing that are letting me down and that is because my friends I'm not used to riding with my knees up by my chin, <laughs> quite frankly, and um, very, very much underestimated how hard it is to keep that position that these jockeys hold for, well, I mean, my race is five and a half furlongs, which is basically flat out whoosh, sprint. But imagine going over like a couple of miles, ooh, or like round the Grand National. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, just completely throwing up in my mouth thinking of having to ride like that for that long. But it's working, I'm getting fitter and I feel strong. Um, so thank you Ian and the Racing Centre for that. Anywho, I hope that has given you guys some insight into how my mornings are working out. And obviously in between this, I have now come back to the yard because I've just got to check the horses, see if the rugs need to come off. And then I'm going back home and then I'm going to do some work because I still do have to do work, but I do work freelance, which means that obviously I have a bit more time. It just means that I have to cram in the evenings and work late nights. So this whole process is quite tiring because it's lots of late nights, early mornings and lots of vigorous exercise, which I'm probably not used to, but, um, it's been really good for my fitness and yeah, I think afterwards I'm going to crash out <laughs> after this whole process and maybe just have a bit of a chill. But I would say that without Y food, um, I just, I wouldn't be able to do, I wouldn't be able to do it basically. I don't have time to eat in the mornings before I get on the horse. You don't want to have a stomach full of food that you could potentially chunder up all over them which I would because it's quite intense. So this stuff, guys, is perfect. Keeps me filled up until lunchtime. And then, yeah, so after I've ridden out, come back home, I can just have a lovely lunch, which is fantastic. And it's not a diet drink. I'm not, it, it's got five, 500 calories in it. It's definitely not a diet drink, but it keeps me going. And also got the seal of approval from Amy. And that was a genuine taste test there. I forced her to drink it on camera. And I think she, well, she really liked it. So. This year, the Magnolia the Magnolia Cup is in aid of the Brilliant Breakfast. The Brilliant Breakfast is an annual nationwide event and it helps the Princess Trust raise money to support disadvantaged women and change their lives for the better. I do have a Just Giving page. I'm raising money actively, so I'll pop the link in the description box below. If you would like to donate anything at all, it is if you'd like to donate anything at all that you can spare, it's very, very appreciated. I'm so grateful to all the donations I've received so far. So thank you very much. Thank you.